The movie revolves around a high school boy named Rob Crabb. He is extremely good at studies, but all the girls ignore him for being a nerd. And because he has never had a girlfriend or even a one-night stand, Rob is often aroused. One morning, while still in bed, Rob climaxes in his pants. Just then, his mother walks in on him. She notices his wet pants and awkwardly tells him to throw the bedsheet in the laundry. Afterwards, Rob takes a shower and gets ready for school. It's a big day for him, as he is set to appear for an admission interview at Georgetown University. Rob's father, Jim, also went to the same university, and this is why he wants his son to get admitted there. Before reaching school, Rob goes to his best friend, Stanley's house. Stanley is also a nerd, but because of some magical techniques, he has landed himself a hot girlfriend, with whom he has regular coitus. At school, Stanley and Rob join the latter's childhood friend Gabrielle and her super nerdy friend Arthur. It's clear that Gabrielle has feelings for Rob and she invites him to hang out at her home later that day. Rob and Gabrielle have an annual tradition of drinking beer and watching the spelling bee. Rob accepts the invitation but he is soon distracted by his crush Angela. Suddenly, some frat boys show up and bully Rob, wetting his pants with a toy water gun. However, Rob soon realizes that his pants are wet not just with water but with something else. It turns out he got overexcited after seeing his hot crush Angela. This couldn't come at a worse timing as Rob's all-important interview is scheduled in an hour. Gabrielle suggests that he get a new pair of pants from the lost and found section but Rob decides to go with his gym shorts. Shortly after, as Rob, along with Stanley, is preparing for his interview in the library, he is surprisingly approached by Angela. She asks him to help her with her test, and even invites him over to her house later that night. Rob is stunned by the unexpected invitation, but being a loyal friend, he turns her down, saying he already has plans with Gabrielle. Later in class, Stanley chastises Rob for turning down Angela's once-in-a-lifetime offer, claiming that she was totally into him. Hence, he advises his best friend to bail on Gabrielle and tutor Angela instead. Later, Gabrielle escorts Rob to his interview and gives him a pep talk, assuring him that he is going to ace it. A man named Jack Roth is set to take the interview and as soon as Rob enters the room, he apologizes for his funny shorts. Roth, who is accustomed to how students are bullied at school, says it's fine. During the interview, Rob is asked about why he wants to study at Georgetown University. Instead of talking about the qualities and the infrastructure there, Rob mentions that the only reason is because his parents met there. This moves Roth and he breaks into tears as he also met his late wife at Georgetown. From that point onwards, the interview only goes downhill as Roth is unable to control his emotions. After the terrible interview, Rob expresses his disappointment with Stanley, mentioning that he is a total failure. Stanley sympathizes with him and advises him to use Angela to lighten up his mood. This time, Rob takes his advice and cancels his plans with Gabrielle. He lies that he is not feeling well because of the disastrous interview he had earlier. Rob then heads to Angela's place but on his way there, he meets with a small accident. However, he brushes it aside and continues his journey. As soon as he reaches Angela's home, she takes him to her bedroom and makes him sit on her bed. She then sits beside him and touches his thighs. A current runs through Rob's body and he suddenly jerks, causing her to spill wine on her top. Angela quickly takes off her top and changes in front of Rob, much to his wonder. She tells him how much she has wanted to study with him. Just then, she leans in for a kiss and places her hand on his pants. Extremely turned on, Rob loses self-control and climaxes in his pants. Suddenly, he wakes up in his bed with wet underwear. Rob's mother again walks in on him and tells him to change his bedsheets. Rob is confused and he can't tell if he really experienced the other day or he was merely dreaming. Nevertheless, he gets ready for school and like before, Rob's father gives him a pep talk for his interview. He then heads to school where he again goes through the same things he saw in his supposed dreams. The frat boys again ruin Rob's pants, forcing him to change into his gym shorts. In the library, Rob tells Stanley about his dream in which Angela wanted to have coitus with him. Just then, Angela arrives and asks Rob to tutor her. This time, he agrees without hesitating. During the interview, Roth again breaks into tears and Rob simply walks out instead of comforting him. Afterwards, he goes to the school clinic to find a cure for premature climax. However, he immediately leaves after seeing the school nurse holding an ill student against his wishes. On his way to Angela's home, Rob realizes that he forgot to cancel his plans with Gabrielle. However, he ignores it and just like before, he meets with an accident. Later, he kisses Angela and once again finishes prematurely. The very next second, Rob wakes up in his bedroom and for the second time, 
everything that happened the other day repeats from the start. This confuses him, but he is still unsure if everything is merely a dream. The scene then cuts to Stanley's home where he is in bed with his hot girlfriend, Lisa. Stanley inquires why she hides their relationship from everyone and Lisa tells him that she can't be seen with an unpopular guy like him. Their conversation is cut short when Rob directly barges into the bedroom to explain the situation to Stanley. However, seeing Lisa in her lingerie, Rob gets aroused and the day is reset again. Rob rushes to school and tries to talk to Gabrielle about his problem. Like clockwork, the annoying frat boys appear and shoot him with the water gun. But this time, Rob loses his temper and breaks the toy. This infuriates the boys and they chase him throughout the school. Rob manages to lock himself inside a room, but the bully boys start banging on the door. Realizing that he doesn't have much time left, Rob decides to use his superpower. He climaxes and resets the day. His mother walks in on him, but instead of being embarrassed, Rob is glad that he managed to escape the bullies. In the kitchen, his father, Jim, proceeds to give him a lecture but this time, Rob stops him. He says that he wants to do things differently, and that's why he is not interested in going to Georgetown. At school, Stanley again goes on about having coitus with girls but Rob is no longer interested. Instead, he starts lecturing about how there are greater things in life than having coitus. Rob has now become carefree and he drives a giant golf cart through the school's hallway. He later smokes a cigarette with Gabrielle and the two talk about their friendship. From their conversation, it's revealed that Rob saved Gabrielle from bullies in elementary school and ever since then, the two have been there for each other. Rob gets emotional and he promises to Gabrielle that no matter what they'll always keep their annual tradition of watching Spell be alive. Following this, he appears for the interview during which he counsels Roth on how to cope with his wife's death. Rob then encounters his childhood bully named Sally. He decides to use his power to reset his day to take revenge. He punches the girl in front of everyone and consequently gets called to the principal's office. There, he is informed that Sally has called the police and now, he is in big trouble. Hearing this, Rob finally panics and runs away from the office. He then approaches Stanley and explains everything, but the latter doesn't understand anything. Still, he helps Rob and takes him to the girl's locker room. However, Rob is not able to concentrate enough to pleasure himself. He walks out of the locker room, dejected, and decides to turn himself in. Just then, he is confronted by Sally, who kicks him in the groin. Lo and behold, the kick arouses him and he climaxes. Rob again wakes up in his bed and he goes to school in a really bad mood. Gabrielle reminds him about the Spellbee finale but Rob rudely cancels their planned annual event. Stanley senses that his best friend is going through a bad time and tries to cheer him for his interview. This moves Rob and he gives Stanley a hug. After a while, Angela again asks him to come over to her place, and Rob promptly agrees. He then heads for his interview, but this time, Gabrielle is not waiting for him in the hallway. As a result, Rob is gloomy throughout the interview. Roth picks up on his sadness and tells him that he is the perfect student for Georgetown. Not able to hide the truth anymore, Rob goes straight to Gabrielle's house and comes clean to her about everything. Gabrielle finds it hard to believe but she still keeps an open mind. She tells Rob about her secret fantasy about Abraham Lincoln that no one knows about. She then asks Rob to tell her about his problem again after he resets the day instructing him to use her Abraham Lincoln secret to prove that he's telling the truth. Gabrielle then takes Rob to the school's smartest boy, Arthur's home, to seek his help. However, there, Arthur's superstitious grandmother attacks him, calling him a Jadugar. Arthur's mother and Gabrielle come to his rescue and put themselves between the two. Unfortunately, the friction arouses Rob and he again ends up resetting the day. Rob confronts Arthur in school and demands to know the meaning of Jadugar. Arthur hesitates from helping him so Rob follows him to the washroom and shoves his head into the toilet bowl until he reveals that the word means, cursed. Rob then demands to know how to break the curse. However, Arthur swears that he has no idea how to help and Rob finally lets him go. Afterwards, he again explains to Gabrielle and Stan about the infinite loop he is stuck in. To prove himself, he tells Gabrielle about her Abraham Lincoln secret that she told him in the previous cycle. This finally convinces the duo that Rob is not lying. After hearing him out, Stanley hypothesizes that maybe Rob got cursed because he did something wrong and that he must do it correctly to break the curse. Rob agrees and he thinks long and hard about what he did wrong. He comes up with the conclusion that he didn't have proper coitus with Angela. Hence, he goes to Angela's class and offers to tutor her that evening, much to the dismay of Gabrielle. In the next scene, Stan teaches Rob how to correctly please a woman before sending him to Angela's house. 
The lessons seem to work and Rob is able to exercise more self-control. As the two make out, Angela tells Rob that they can have as much coitus as they want but he must do her homework after he returns home. Hearing this, Rob realizes that Angela doesn't love him and that she is only using him to do her homework. It also dawns on him that he is supposed to be with Gabrielle and not Angela. Outside, he runs into his father, Jim, who has found out that Rob skipped his interview. Refusing to let Rob ruin his life, Jim takes him to the hotel where Roth is staying. They join Roth in the restaurant and the latter asks Jim why he is adamant on sending his son to Georgetown. Jim tells him about the things he gained from the university. However, Roth replies that maybe his son doesn't want the same things he wanted from his life. After a while, Rob is sent to fetch some drinks, and on the bar TV, he sees the spelling bee finale. It suddenly dawns on Rob that he really likes Gabrielle but he still didn't go to her that evening and perhaps that's why the day keeps getting rewinded. Rob returns to the table and tells his father that he likes Gabrielle and he doesn't want to go to Georgetown. Jim is slightly upset but he agrees to support his son's decision. Following this, both Jim and Roth take Rob to Gabrielle's home and help him climb her window. Here, it is revealed that the car which kept crashing into Rob belonged to none other than Roth. Once he reaches her bedroom, Rob explains everything to Gabrielle and reveals that he didn't sleep with Angela. However, Gabrielle is still upset with him and asks him to leave. When he refuses, she takes off her top so he could get aroused and reset the day. The commotion attracts the attention of Gabrielle's father and he rushes to her room. Gabrielle is embarrassed and Rob clarifies to her father that he is not trying to take advantage of her. Instead, he expresses his love for her, admitting that it took him too long to realize his actual feelings. Sadly, she doesn't say a word, so a distraught Rob proceeds to leave through the window. But as soon as Gabrielle's father closes the door and departs, she stops Rob from leaving and the two watch the spelling bee together. They then make out and have coitus. This time, the day isn't reset, and Rob is still in bed with Gabrielle. The time loop has been broken. It turns out the two were meant to be together and this is why the universe kept repeating itself until they found their way to each other. If you liked this video, you will also like the video, appearing on screen. Click on it to watch. We upload new movie daily, make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss any video. Consider sharing it with your friends. Show that you care about them. Thank you for watching.